Hey everybody, welcome back to Showplace Corpse Party Chapter 5. There's blood on the wall, there's blood. I, I guess it's windows, but... What the? Is that... Blood? Ah, the door is open now. Alright, in we go. What is this thing? It looks like a really big dude with a sheet over his head, but it couldn't be, could it? Don't even joke about that. Maybe I should take a look under the sheet. Don't you dare! Just a quick peek from below. You'll feel better knowing it's not who we're thinking it is, won't you? What is it? Scare the crap out of myself for nothing. It's just an anatomical model. Exactly the sort of thing you'd expect to find in a science lab. Uh, sorry. Guess I let my curiosity get the best of me. It's fine, just please, don't do anything scary from here on out unless it's absolutely necessary, okay? N no problem. Wash hands thoroughly before all experiments and dissect in accordance with previously taught procedures. What's in here? Completely empty. Also empty. Box? Table. Broken table. You poor table. How about up here? Uh uh. Alright. Wait, corpse. There's a skeleton sitting in the chair. Wearing white scrubs and a pair of glasses with circular lenses. Maho's notes. Four of five. Kibiki, I'm so sorry. My readings were far too broad, and my interpretations of them overly naive. This place is not the simple plane of spirits I'd previously surmised it to be. If we don't get out of here ASAP, we'll be in real danger. Uh... Way out. There's not a lot I can read in this. Doing so will elicit that to ate the Q plan ow. I intend to continue my investigation until a more reliable method is found. Until then, please, please be safe. I want to see you again, Kibiki. More than anything. I want to feel you stroke my hair. There's so much blood on these pages, they're hard to read. Huh. H hey. Huh? That anatomical model. Was it standing there when we came in? Oh, shut up! What's your problem? How many times do I have to tell you? Don't joke around like that. God! Why do you insist on scaring me at every turn? Do you get a good laugh out of it? What? I'm not trying to scare you, Shinozaki. I seriously think... Don't even say it. Don't even think it. I hate you. Shinozaki. I hate you. The thing just tried to grab Shinozaki's neck. What? What? Run! It's trying to kill us. Nah. Let her go. <laughs> no, 
no! Shinazaki! Move, you jerk! Stop it! Stop it, please! Just leave me! Run! Get out of here! Shinozaki, don't worry. I'm going to save you. You're just going to die. Look at you, you're bleeding. Badly. This is an order from your class rep. Leave me. I'll just shut it. Don't give me that. I'm not Satoshi. But I'm going to protect you anyway. If this keeps up, I'm a goner. There's gotta be some way. The gas burner, that's it! Eat this! Monster, where are you going? You jerk! Shinozaki. Glad to see you're still in one piece. You stupid! I hate you so much! <laughs> Sounds like a happy cry to me. Guess that means you're okay. Don't die! Don't die! Alright. Alright already, just stop crying, Shinosaki. I wanna see you smile. I love your smiling face most of all. <laughs> is... is it... biting him? Sh Shino... Saki! Run! Run! I mean, it was right there. I had to do it. I had to. Okay, this time I'm not going to inspect it. Just gonna grab this note. Sensei. And out we go. Ah. <sighs> now it's locked. Save. We're pretty close. I mean, not that close. But close. Where was I going? To a place? Shoot, where am I going? Down here? Oh, there's a note of over here. Naho's notes, 5-5. Five, five. The pages are all blank. Uh, these papers. Just looking at them makes my head throb. It's like they're somehow filled with emotion, like Naho's feelings have been projected onto them. I can smell him. I'm getting closer. Soon, I'll be with him again. The letters are just appearing on these blank sheets of paper. It's like they're being written right now, in front of my eyes. My consciousness is fading. My hands are jet black, but I'm alright. I'll be with him again soon, after all. Naho's note 6-5 I found you, Kiriki. I found the room you ran to. Wait for me. Naho's notes, 7-5. I missed you. I'm going to hug you now. Number 5. Everything has gone dark. My body is a black mist. What the hell? 
No. Um. Yes. Exactly. Now I go to... Somewhere. Did I get everything up here? Yeah. Maybe I... No. Yeah. Note. Strange but true. Stories of the occult. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school. Building. Part 4 by Ko Kibiki. I shouldn't be alone. I shouldn't be alone. That's what he said in the tape. We are not the first to come here, it seems. There have been many before us. And every one of them has either died or been swallowed up by the, by the school itself. I'm not simply using the word swallowed for dramatic effect either. It is, regrettably, an apt description. There's a massive curse encompassing this entire building. It's like an entity unto itself, and it slowly devours the souls of men. It chips away at a person's core, sanity, reason, even identity, eventually destroying him. Nothing that made him who he is is left behind. Once it's gripped your heart, you'll quickly succumb to despair and loneliness. The essence of what makes you human is literally eaten away, as if by worms. When this happens, the body begins to necrotize, and the soul becomes as black as spent ash. We've come to regard this process as darkening. And whoever succumbs to the darkening becomes an inseparable part of the school itself. In rare instances, one may be able to avoid the full act of darkening, instead fated to be seared unbearably by intent, violent thoughts and emotions. But most of the time, his soul will be rooted here, and he will be cursed to wander these halls for eternity with no hope of passing or exorcism. Thus, my use of the word swallowed. This school swallows us whole, growing fatter, with tortured souls every day. It makes me shudder just thinking about it. The means by which I've come here, the Sachiko charm. If its particulars ever go out into the mainstream, this school would never go hungry again. To any who may be reading this fourth installment, and soon the fifth, it's clear that you're a victim trapped within this hellish place, just as I am. The least I can do is give you some advice to help you to help keep you alive as long as possible. If you still have even the dimmest shred of hope, hang on to it. Keep it firmly in your heart. Never give it up. I can't stress that enough. I hope you'll be looking forward to part five. My assistant Taguchi has disappeared somewhere. Now that I'm by myself, I can no longer go home. So I'm just going to keep writing. It's my one true calling, after all. No matter what happens, as long as there is life left in me, as long as my hands can still move, I will never stop writing. That's really sad. Did I? I must have. I can't go that way. All right, there's got to be something left before I go meet up with Satoshi. Anything. Let's see. Oh, maybe... Maybe it's up here. Trespassers will be expelled. Naho! Naho! Well, if it isn't Ayumi Shinozaki, how are you holding up? Naho, I'd like to share with you some information I've gathered. You have my attention? What did you find? So Sachiko is the perpetrator. I had no idea. 
Very interesting indeed. Thank you for providing me with this valuable data. However, you only solved half the mystery. You have yet to determine who, exactly, Sachiko is. There's still a lot of ground to cover before we've learned all there is to know about this school. <laughs> At any rate, there's someone I need to find. If you'll please excuse me. I'm not done talking to you yet. But I've lost interest in what you have to say. Who was that boy in the staff room, I wonder? Was he a classmate of yours? A brother, perhaps? There's a bond of love between you. It's what keeps you going. I would enjoy it so if more people like that came around for me to watch. It's quite entertaining. <laughs> Her giggle is kind of cute. Naho, I'm disappointed in you. Huh? Now, why would that be? Weren't you a veritable fangirl of mine? It's because of this. Uh, what is this Sachiko in the Ever After crap? What are the ruins of the Shinozaki estate? Naho's Notes 3-5 Herein, I will detail the proper observance of Sachiko Shinozaki's charm, as well as the means of reversing its effects and returning home. <gasps> Sachiko and the Ever After Procedure for Proper Observance The spell trigger is the phrase, Sachiko, we beg of you. It must be chanted once for each participant, then one additional time for Sachiko. Following this, the proxy doll is to be torn apart. Should the proxy doll recovered from the ruins of the old Shinozaki estate be unavailable, a printed facsimile will suffice for the purposes of this ritual. If everything is performed as indicated, the spirit will pass by harmlessly, and nothing of note should occur. If any part of this ritual is performed incorrectly, however, then Sachiko herself would descend upon any viable spirit medium in the vicinity, and all present will be afflicted with her curse and spirited away to the sacred ground. Procedure for Reversal If you've angered Sachiko, you may atone by redoing the ritual properly, but in reverse. First, produce your remnant of the proxy doll. You intentionally put the wrong directions on your blog. You wanted the ritual to fail. Did you do it for him, your beloved? Your mentor, Mr. Kibiki? Were you trying to make sure he had a large sample size to study for his article? What the hell is so funny? You think you're so smart, huh? Well, you're not, so go fish. Go fish. What the hell does that mean? Yeah, that that was my thought, Yoshiki. She's saying it's a lie. Anyone who takes stuff posted on the net and swallows it wholesale is an idiot. A total retard. You're shaking. You can't tell me that you didn't have the slightest inkling that... It never crossed your mind something like this might happen. How many people did your little whim send to the slow, painful death, huh? You're the one who spread Sachiko's curse across the entire country? You! And anyone who can read Japanese in other countries, presumably. Don't you think I know that? But Kibiki, my dear Kibiki smiles at me when I do right by him. Oh, Kibiki, my sweet succulent mentor, I would do anything for you. Anything at all. But you occult freaks. You can all go rot in a corner for all I care. You're a horrible person. Horrible, horrible, horrible. God, how could you? 
That's my duty to protect my dear mentor's job, and I won't let anyone get in my way. Naho, you died here. And? Do you remember what you were thinking when you died? What you were looking at? I don't, actually. And that's the one moment I just can't recall, in fact. No matter how much I try, it won't come to me. Your selfish egotism cost you the person you loved most. Huh? You really don't remember, do you? Your very last actions as a human being, after you lost all hope but before you died. You weren't swallowed up by the school, probably because of your abilities, but you did succumb to the darkening. Do you get it now? You killed him! You killed the man you loved! You killed Mr. Kibiki! And now is a perfect time to put on your headphones because this is about to get creepy. You took his life with your own bare hands! Give me a break. Is this some kind of horror movie or something? Well, it's a horror game, but, you know, it's close. You okay? Acquired baby statue. Naho Saanoki. Well, that was the creepy part, so... You're free to use speakers, unless you are already still using speakers, then... Uh, good on you. Good choice. Speakers are great. Alright, uh, is there a save point? I did a save, so I will see you in... Well, next time. So see you then.